Hello and welcome to the latest Lethbridge College cooking lesson. My name is Paul Kingsmith and today I'm joined by Chef Hang Ing, one of the instructors in our culinary careers program here at Lethbridge College. Thanks for joining us today, Chef. Hi, Paul. It's great to be here. And today, Chef Hang will be teaching us how to make a pastry fit for a king, empress or a sultan. It is a tasty, nutty, sweet, crispy treat that is baklava. While the exact origins of baklava is not, it's unclear, written evidence uh, dates back to about 600 years ago. And it seems like one of those treats that various cultures had a variation on it through the years, whether it was Central Asia, the Middle East, or the Balkans and the Mediterranean, but we're just happy that it made its way to North America. Now, there's a, a false impression that baklava is very hard to make. But if you have your phyllo pastry thawed out in the fridge and all the other ingredients weighed out, it is quite easy. And Chef Hang will show us how to do that, so let's get started. First, you'll want to assemble all your ingredients. Phyllo leaves, about a pound or 500 grams defrosted. Ground nuts could be walnuts, pistachio, almonds or a mixture of them, 500 grams. Sugar, 60 grams. Cinnamon, 2 grams. Ground cloves. 0.5 of a gram and melted butter 250 grams. For the syrup, sugar 375 grams, water 280 grams, honey 140 grams, two strips of lemon peel and 30 grams of lemon juice and one cinnamon stick. First, mix together the nuts, sugar, cinnamon and clove. Then unfold the phyllo leaves and keep them covered with a damp tea towel. Butter the bottom and sides of a 10 by 15 inch baking pan. Lay one of the phyllo sheets in the bottom of the pan, letting the ends of the dough fold upwards on the side of the pan. Brush the dough with melted butter. Keep laying the sheets in the pan and buttering them until you have 10 buttered sheets. At this point, you want to place one third of the nut mixture and spread it in an even layer. Then put two more phyllo leaves, buttering each as it is placed in the pan. When this is done, you'll add another third of the nuts, another two buttered phyllo leaves, and the rest of the nuts. Finally, lay each of the remaining leaves in the pan, buttering each, including the top sheets. At this time, you can chill the pastry to congeal the butter, and this will make cutting easier. When the pastry has chilled or kitchen scissor, Trim it level with the top of the pastry. Cut into four rows of six squares, about two and a half inches on each side. Then cut the squares diagonally to make triangles. Place the tray in the oven and bake for about 50 to 60 minutes until golden brown. When the baklava is baking, combine the syrup ingredients, bring to a boil, simmer about 10 minutes, and cool to look warm. Remove the cinnamon stick and lemon peel. Schema foam if they form. First, we're going to drizzle the syrup over the baklava. And it's best to let it sit overnight in the fridge. Well, this just looks delicious, Chef Hang. Thank you so much for showing us around the kitchen and how to make this amazing dessert. We look forward to having all of you try it out at home. This recipe was featured in the winter 2018 edition of Wider Horizons magazine and you can find it online at widerhorizons.ca. Now if you'd like to try this uh, recipe or other creations by the culinary students, just call 403-320-3230 to book a table at the Garden Court restaurant. Thank you very much, Chef Hang, and thank you all for watching, and be sure to let us know how you enjoyed the recipe.